Could I have all the little ones come forward? Good morning. How's everybody doing? Good? I know. All right. So I have this awesome lamp. It is called a sunset lamp. Do you know why? It changes colors, it does cool effects, like it flashes, it fades from one light to the next. It's awesome, right? Yeah. This is awesome. Do you see it flashing? Do you see it changing colors? Yeah, but I get to see it smaller. Okay, so I've got the remote. Maybe I just need to turn it on, right? I am. I'm, I'm hitting the on button. Wait, See? On? Well, yeah, it's plugged in. Look, right here. Ow. See? It's plugged in. Wait, no. No, no, no. I think down where? What, down where? I think we just got to hold the white one on button. The, the white one is plugged in right here. No, it's the black one. The, look, look. The black one goes to the black one. The black one goes to the white one. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh. You just need to plug that one. This I need to plug in. Yeah, and plug it. Okay, well, okay, let's try this. Look at me, I'm taking orders and directions from kids. Oh. I, it was plugged in though. Okay. So here, can I see that for a second? Okay, so that reminds me of some verses in Galatians. Do y'all know what they are? Do you know what the verses are in Galatians? No? Okay. How about Galatians 5.16? Are you ready for this? So I, walk, so I say, walk by the Spirit, and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. And what if we go to Galatians 5.25? Since we live by the Spirit, let us keep in the step with the Spirit. So when Jesus died and rose again, he came back. And when he left for that final time, he said, my father is going to give you a gift that's going to be what you need to get through until I return totally paraphrasing, but ultimately the Holy Spirit is what these two verses are talking about. Do you know that the Holy Spirit has power for us to use? The same power that rose Lazarus from the dead, the same power that healed those uh, lepers and Jesus helped the uh, lame walk in the blind sea. That's the Holy Spirit. So the lamp, before we plugged it in, that was just us doing our thing, right? Yeah, now we're tapped into God because we're being the light that we're called to be, right? We're shining God's light. There's another resource though. There's another gift that we're not using. What is it? I'll give you a hint. I just talked about it. It's two words. The first word starts with holy. The second word ends with spirit. Holy spirit. Yes, the Holy Spirit. You are all so smart. Well, hang on. So this is us. We're, we're connected with God. We're building our relationship. We're reading. We're trusting. But God says, I've got more. I need you more. So we say, okay. Hang on. Stand back. Stand back. We say, okay. Watch out. We say, all right. We hear you. We hear you. <laughs> I promise we hear you. Wow. And we say, okay, God, let's do this. Let's do this. All right, Holy Spirit, let's do this. When we tap into everything God has for us, 
we get to do amazing things. And we get to not only do those amazing things to, for, our, for our gain, but for God's gain too. Because anything that we do through the power of him, hang on, no, I can't. The, the Holy Spirit is not connecting with me right now. Come on. There we go. So when we do things through the Holy Spirit, we achieve way more than we ever could with just a, us and God and just definitely us and alone. We've got to make sure that God says we, he's got all these things for us. He's got all this power to give us. What do we need to do? We need to take it, right? We need to use it for his glory. And you know, there's a song. How many of you love songs? I love them too. Have you ever heard the song Confidence? Yes, Yes, you have. Yes, Yes, you have. I remember a few years ago, we totally played this down at KFC because I said, Joel, we need to play this. And in the course of that song, it says... We need to have hope like Moses. It says faith like Daniel, but I added courage like Daniel and Joshua because those men, they couldn't do the, their battles on their own. They needed to have the faith and the courage that God and the Holy Spirit were giving them. And we need to have a heart like David. If we tap into and use all of God's resources, We will be this lamp. Not only will we be this lamp, but we will be the lamp tapped in, tapped into the Holy Spirit. It's changing. That's right. And anytime God says, hey, Olivia, I need you over here. I need you doing this. You're going to come over here and you're going to do that. And then you're going to say, you're going to feel the God say, hold on, Olivia, come over here. I got, I need you over here. And then you're going to be over here and then you're going to be here. And then you're just going to be doing God's thing. And you're going to be like that lamp who is ever changing and shining for God's glory. Right? I'll take it. They're, they love the lamp. All right. So let's pray. Yeah, we're almost to the edge, though. Let's move back. Let's move back. I did not realize we were that close. All right. Let's, let's pray. Let's pray. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so very much for the gift of the Holy Spirit, Lord. We know that you, can, you are amazing just by yourself, but you didn't allow us to be alone until we meet you in eternity. You gave us the gift of your Son and the gift of the Holy Spirit, Lord, so help us to remember that those gifts are there for us each and every day and help us to use them to use them to show your love and your power to everyone we meet so that we can all be dancing on the streets of gold in heaven with you. In Jesus' name, amen.